So the Aussies are still celebrating here after the Diamonds wrapped up the Constellation Cup Series 4-1. They finished it and it was a thrilling way to do it with a one goal win over the arch rival New Zealand. Temapara must be said though, the Silver Ferns were brave, they were gutsy, they fought back on multiple occasions here today and just a little unlucky in the end. They were a little unlucky and they did come out with a lot of fire in their belly. They talked about pride prior to the game and I think they definitely showed that out there tonight. No Irene Van Dyke bench for the entire game as we uh, for the second consecutive match which meant Kat Latu played the uh, entire 60 minutes. She finished with 25 goals shooting at 93%. Yeah I spoke to Y prior to the match and she said she's got to give Kat Catherine the opportunity out there. Van Dyke has had that combination. I think there's 51 tests played between Tutaya and Van Dyke and I think she came out there was really strong. She did some um, unusual things under there and she had a, a few offensive contacts from the umpires or offensive things from the umpires that in the dying minutes which kind of changed the momentum. And it was quite a physical, I mean so much talk about Dykes v Latu in the last test in Melbourne. How did you see that unfold? Watch Chatfield and a you know, big <laughs> collision. Latu just loves it doesn't she? <laughs> she does love it but I think she's definitely matured in terms of discipline out there and she doesn't give as much as she had in the past and I think that's what she's known for um, in history I suppose. So she's done a great job and Maturity has definitely shown through for her game. It certainly has. Maria Tutayer, her partner in crime this afternoon, uh, named the MVP after 24 goals. Most of them were just way out, weren't they? Oh, it's <laughs> so good on, on being on the team with um, Maria when she stands in the circle. She, I think she, her heels are touching the line and she puts it through the hoop. So it's very encouraging for the team and it definitely gives the team a lift. And then we've got a solid person under the post with Catherine who, if she does miss, um, she gets the rebounds in there. She had one bad game throughout the season, which was probably in Test 2, but you've never seen her do that again. You've played so many netball games alongside Irene Van Dyke. Where to from here for her? At 41 years of age, has she still got international netball left in her? I think she has. It's going to be interesting. Um, Geitz touched on it, a lot of water under the bridge with the ANZ champs. You look at the combinations, you're going to have Leota, who we hope that's coming back to the team, playing with Van Dyke in the polls. And then you've got Langman playing with Latu in the Mystics. So it's going to be interesting to see how those combinations gel. And then it'll be a headache for why when she goes to pick the team that's going to start. And the Silver Ferns defensive line was uh, super impressive. Probably the best performance of the of the Test Series so far. Led, of course, by the captain, Casey Kapoor. I agree. And I think this has been one of Casey's best games out there and I think that's from having um, Liana in the back. Liana's continually talking. They've got that combination from the ANZ champs in the Magic team so they have that understanding with the switches in there. Turned over a lot of ball and Liana's great at going for the intercepts outside the circle uh, which sets Casey up for the great attacking drive that she does have. Where to from here for your side, the Silver Ferns? It's the first time in 15 years they've lost four consecutive matches to Australia. Great character building. I mean they've never been in this position before so it's something new for them to, to tackle and it's great for Y to see players under pressure and fighting back from, from a losing point of view I suppose and it's great to see them that they did do it, they never gave up and they showed it. Well it was a thrilling way to finish the five match test series here in Canberra this afternoon. The Aussies got over the line in an absolute thriller, an absolute classic and now netball fans we just have to wait, it's about seven, eight, nine months until Glasgow, that gold medal game. Bring it on, we can't wait.